Hello friends, my name is Arpita Karva and I'm back again answering one of the most frequently asked questions that I see in the comment section. I'm sure you must have guessed the question from the thumbnail and the title of the video. So the million dollar question is, should I do B.Ed or should I just focus on clearing UGC net exam? Which is better? What should I opt for? Indeed, this is a very, very difficult question. And it is a very difficult question for even me to answer it for such a large audience. Because this question is very subjective. It depends upon what stage the person is in his life, what are their preferences, future goals and aspirations. But this video has been so highly requested that here I am trying to answer all your questions in this tiny video. Friends, you are not sure whether you should go for B.Ed or you should go for UGC net, then do not worry. It's not that difficult to make a choice between these two. So in order to take you through the entire journey of answering this question, I have divided this video into three parts. In part one of the video, I would be telling you about the similarities that both of these career options have. Then we are going to talk about the differences in both these exams and then in the end I am going to give you my final verdict based on the similarity and differences and I shall talk about what should be the right approach for you as well. So let us begin by looking at the similarities between B.Ed and UGC net. Number one, with any of these qualifications you can make a career in the teaching field. You can pursue teaching as a profession after you clear either of them. You can either take up a teaching job or you can start even your own offline or online coaching center. Secondly, you can land up with a good government job through both the routes. Teaching in a government school or college is highly reputed and highly promising as a job. So, of course, you get well-paying private jobs even after these exams, but you also get an opportunity to become a government servant and serve in government schools and colleges. So both of these qualifications open many doors for you. And lastly, neither of these exams have an age limit. So you can consider pursuing any of these options at any point in your life. Now let us come to the differences between B.Ed and UGC net. To make it easy for you to understand, I have divided the differences into various categories. Let us start with the minimum qualification you need before pursuing B.Ed or UGC net. So for B.Ed, the minimum qualification is B.A. or graduation. But to be eligible for UGC net, you need a master's degree. So bachelor's for B.Ed and master's for UGC net. Now let us look at the time that is required to complete these two programs. Friends, B.Ed is a full-fledged course that goes on for two years. You need to take an admission in the B.Ed program of a reputed college or university. But for UGC net, all you have to do is to register for the exam. You can prepare for UGC net while you are pursuing your MA. It will not take any extra time. The day you clear your UGC net, you are eligible to be an assistant professor. But B.Ed will take two precious years of your life. Now we'll discuss the job profile you will have after finishing B.Ed or after clearing UGC net. If you have finished your B.Ed after doing a bachelor's degree, then you can teach up to 10th grade in private schools. If you have completed your B.Ed after a master's degree, then you can teach classes 11th and 12th. Now you must be wondering what if I want to teach in government school? Friends, to teach in government schools, after doing B.Ed, you have to also clear competitive exams like TGT, PGT, DSSB, KVS or NVS. Now, what about UGC net? After clearing UGC net, you can teach as an assistant professor in any government or private university or college across India. Now, the next difference between B.Ed and UGC net lies in the salary package. As a school teacher, in case of B.Ed, your salary ranges from 30,000 to 50,000 rupees a month. On the other hand, being an assistant professor in a college is a more lucrative career option. Being a full-time professor can earn you anywhere between 50,000 to 2 lakh rupees per month depending upon your experience. Now, if you have cleared JRF as well, then your salary would be three times more than an assistant professor with UGC net. Sometimes after clearing UGC net, you find that there are no permanent vacancies available in colleges near your area. Then in that case, you can take up a part-time job as an ad hoc professor. Even in that case, you would be earning more than what a school teacher earns after clearing B.Ed. 
Now we will talk about the subjects you have to study in B.Ed and for UGC NET. In B.Ed you have to study many subjects including Geography, EVS, Hindi, Political Science and so on. Now in case of UGC NET you just have to study one subject that is the subject in which you decide to give your UGC NET exam in. Another difference between the two qualification is the job of assistant professor is regarded more reputed than that of a school teacher. But you should take pride in whichever profession you are in. So be it a professor or a school teacher, both of them should be equally valued. Now you must have understood friends that the weightage of UGC net is more than that of B.Ed. Plus, it takes less time to prepare for UGC net, the salary package is higher and so is the reputation in the eyes of the society. But friends, many students are worried that even after clearing UGC net, they are not able to get a job since there are no vacancies for assistant professors. So the solution to this problem is that you can teach as an ad hoc professor that is a contract basis professor in any university or college. In such a scenario, your salary will be lesser than that of a permanent assistant professor, but it will still be more than that of a school teacher. Before we move further, a quick reminder for all my viewers. If you are looking for MA entrance, PhD entrance, UGC net, PGT, TGT exam updates, then please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We regularly post important information related to all these exams on our social media platforms. Moreover, we also share quick revision videos on our Insta and Facebook page every Wednesday where we help you revise important topics in just 60 seconds. Now let us come to the last part of today's video. That is the part wherein I am going to talk about the best strategy that any student should follow. The best strategy is to prepare for both UGC net as well as beard. Now in case of UGC net, you can prepare for it along with your masters. This would ensure that you do not waste your time. Now the time that you have saved can be used to pursue an additional degree that is of beard. Right after completing your masters, you can enroll in a B.Ed program. So two years right after your masters, you will have qualified UGC net and you will also have B.Ed degree. Two things in your plate. Now what is the advantage of going with this strategy? The benefit of doing this is that in case you cannot get an assistant professor job, you will always have a backup option to being a school teacher, at least for some time. So you will never feel that financial pressure where you are not able to earn. This strategy is good for ensuring financial security. <laughs> so your approach should not be B.Ed versus NET. Rather it should be B.Ed plus UGC NET. This way your first preference can be to become an assistant professor. But you will also have an option of teaching in schools as fallback. Another advantage of this strategy is that even if you want to teach classes 11th and 12th, then too you need a master's degree for PGT. In order to clear PGT exam, you need a master's degree. So if you are pursuing masters anyway, why not also give UGC net exam? You can prepare for UGC net exam side by side. With a little effort, you will open many doors for yourself that will lead you to promising career options. So to summarize, I would suggest that instead of having a B.Ed versus UGC net approach, you should always consider having B.Ed plus UGC net. Whether you want to be an assistant professor or a school teacher, this you can decide later. So try to get both the qualifications so that there is no shortage of job opportunities for you in life. If you are preparing for UGC net exam, then here's a good news. We have some amazing courses lined up on our website, courses.arpitakarva.com. We offer a complete animated video course for UGC net paper one and a complete course of UGC net paper two English literature. Our UGC net paper two as well as paper one are also backed up with separate mock test series, which will help you to enhance your preparation. So if you want to check out the list of writers that we cover in our UGC net paper 2, then you can go to our website and check out the list. 
If you have any queries related to UGC Net, feel free to call us on the number displayed on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any informative videos in future. And please click on the bell icon as well. If you found this video helpful, then please like this video and also share it with fellow Net aspirants. If you have any questions or doubts, or if you want me to make videos on any other topic, then feel free to put that in the comment section below. I fondly read every comment shared by my students in the comment section. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very soon with the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature, and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.